What's up guys, my name is Mavic Makumu and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the some of the tools in the Sleuth Toolkit to recover deleted files on a device. For this demonstration I'm going to use um, a flash drive. So initially it's got nothing on it. And it's been formatted to the NTFS file system. So I'm just going to plug it in now to this computer and wait for it to mount, to mount um, on our Kali Linux box. So you can now see it. The flash drive is mounted. I'm going to open it. So I'm now going to create uh, two files. Uh, we'll keep one file and then delete the other one. So you can create a new file from the GUI or from the command line interface. So I'm going to use the GUI to create the two the two files. The first one is going to be the kept file, the one that we want to delete. TXT. Then we are going to create another file that we will delete. We call this one the deleted file, the TXT. Now let's add some content to the files. I'm going to open the deleted file. So this is the deleted file to be recovered. Just gonna save and close. This is the file to be kept. So as you can see, we now have two files inside our device. Here's a flash drive. So now I will show you how we can uh, recover this deleted file after deleting it so the first step the first step obviously will be to delete the file so i'm going to delete it from the command line interface i'm just going to go to uh, terminal navigate to the path where the file is stored so media press boxes flash drive so we've got uh, two files. We, we currently have two files inside this um, directory. We are going to delete the deleted file. Remove for the ls again. You can see that we've only we're only left with one file, the kept file. So um. From here, we need to, um, to to see what the the flash drive has been named uh, in the system. It's important for us to to carry out uh, this demonstration. So we're going to use the d message command for that. Okay, I have to run this as a root um, user. So I'm going to sudo message okay the flash drive that we have just inserted is um, as you can see it's um, here 
USB mass uh, USB mass storage device detected and from below we can see that it's been named STB so if we go into if we navigate to dev <coughs> and then list we should be able to see our flash drive so this is our STB so it's there it's been named STB so that's the name for flash drive we're going to uh, to be calling it in this way sorry it's going to be uh, called dev stb that's the name of our flash drive so from from that if we do uh, if we use another tool that's called mmls we can uh, examine the disk partitions on this um, device in case it, it's got um, uh, other partitions that we we can't see or so that we can be able to see what uh, what partitions are there on this device we use this mmls uh, command so if we do mmls of our dev stb okay i'm supposed to be a root user as well so I'm just going to switch to root permanently and do MMLS dev FTP. Okay. So from here we can see that uh, as mentioned earlier, our partition is here where we've got NTFS or XFAT. So this is probably where all our data, all our data on the flash drive is kept. So we can confirm this by using um, the fstat command. If we do fstat, we can see all the statistics and the and the file type, the file system of our device. So if we do an fstat uh, minus o, which is the offset, from here you can see that the the offset of this uh, file system is 2048 so we're supposed to use minus all 2048 here so that we can come up with uh, statistics for that uh, file system so it's still dev sdb okay so from here we can see that uh, let me expand this terminal so from here we can see that the file system is ntfs it's indeed ntfs the volume name is flash drive okay so we can confirm that this is our device and uh, we've got a whole bunch of other statistics that we are not going to use in this uh, demonstration and then we will now go on to use the fls which um, <coughs> can be used to list the deleted files on a device. It's got a whole lot of other options that we can utilize. So from here, we can say FLS minus minus help. You can see that uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, options available. You can display deleted entries only display only directories display only files um, and using the minus r function we can do a recursive uh, 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 display of files so it will open each um, directory and display the display the contents of that of that directory so in our case we are going to we will actually need to list only the deleted files so that we can be able to recover them so we're going to use the minus r function the minus r option so if we do fls 
minus O, we, have to, we still have to specify our offset, which is 2048. 2048 with the minus R option in case there's a, a whole lot of other child directories. Then in our case, we don't have that. So we are just going to use the minus D option to display deleted entries only from DFSTB. So as you can see, uh, these are all deleted entries. Some of the uh, some of the entries are just uh, swap files and temporary files that we have got no need of right now. What we concerned about is this file, the deleted file. Okay, so we can see that it's it's, it's been picked by um, FLS. It's been listed here as one of the deleted files. So by using iCat, which is um, which is another tool inside the Sleuth Toolkit, we can actually see the contents of that file. So if we do an ikit minus minus 2048 of dev stb. Now, um, there's one other thing that we have to take note of. We can see that there's numbers before the file. These are called I nodes. These are the numbers that point to our deleted file. So in order for us to see the contents of this specific file inside uh, or within this offset, we have to specify the specify the I node number. So the I node number for our deleted file is 88. So I'm going to use I kid minus O uh, offset of 2048 and I node 88 and you can see that we've recovered the contents of that file which is this is the file to be recovered so this is one way that we that we can use to to, to recover the contents of the file especially uh, the text files we can also use um, uh, another tool called TSK Recover. So this is how we. So TSK Recover now allows us to actually to do an actual dump of that file. No matter what the file type is, it can uh, automatically detect. Uh, you, you you are supposed to specify the, the file type, or uh, there's other ways that you can see what the deleted file type was. But with TSK Recover, you, you, even if you don't specify the, the, the extension, it's supposed to detect it or to determine it uh, automatically. So TSK Recover minus O, our offset to the same 2048 from our device dev STB. Now, um, want to specify um, the target directory uh, the directory into which we want our file to be recovered so let's use um, the home directory for example so it's just tsk um, recover minus all 2048 which is our offset so it, it will just recover all the deleted files in that device which is dev sdp so as we can see that with this result saying uh, three files have been recovered so we we'll now go to navigate to our, our home directory cd home we list the files that we have and we can see that uh, we now have this file the deleted file which has just been generated it's at it, uh, 1607 1607 is now 1608 so thanks guys for watching uh, that's how you can use uh, some of the tools in the sleuth uh, toolkit to recover deleted files